We need to anchor the east side of Green Bay on Main and Mason. It's one of the busiest intersections we have. Uh, we have a, a, a mall there that needs something. After years of focusing on downtown, Green Bay's mayor wants to work on developing part of the city's east side. Good evening, everyone. Mayor Jim Schmidt has outlined his hopes in the State of the City Address last night. One specific area the mayor pointed out, as you just heard, was East Mason and Main Streets near the East Town Mall. Fox Loan's Bill Misson has been back on that story today. And Bill, what's the reaction to the mayor's idea? Well, Tom, some council members say if the same energy put into the downtown is put into the east side, the results can be just as good. A plan people who live and work in the area say they gladly welcome. But others question why it's taken this long. Tonight, we bring you multiple views. It'd make it a lot easier. Miguel Thank Angel you. Velasquez says finding the stores he needs is a challenge on the city's east side, which is why he's excited about the mayor's plans to bring in more businesses closer to home. It'll save me a lot of time, especially with the kids going to school and, you know, picking them up and then running all over here, well, you know, school shopping, stuff like that. The intersection at East Mason and Main Street is one of the busiest in the city. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, nearly 70,000 vehicles pass through it every day. Some business owners say the reason they decided to locate to the east side is because of the opportunities it presents. The location, third busiest intersection in Green Bay. Cyberworks owner Jim Overly says he's seen a lot of businesses come and mostly go over the last 12 years. I think the east side has a lot to offer Green Bay. Um, I think the mayor's idea of, of having Green Bay's east side expand can only help our city prosper. Mayor Jim Schmidt said Wednesday he's interested in bringing in special retail, education, and health care. We're in dialogue with those three, and I'm hopeful we can get something going this year, uh, but that's a focus for us. We have to work on that every week. What would you like to see and what challenges might there be? Well, I don't think we'll have the challenges if we focus the same way we focus downtown. Council President Tom DeWayne is on board with the plan and says East Town Mall should be the centerpiece. Well, it should be. Uh, it's there. The foundation's there. And I think we focus from there and uh, we work all the way to the end. The area's alderman Andy Nicholson agrees. Hey, this is great news. But that wishes more attention was paid to the East Town Mall area sooner. Uh, the mall needs support. It's barely hanging on. We have three abandoned buildings in the area. Nicholson hopes the plan will create the city's newest hub, leading people to the downtown. East Town Mall and its property management company declined to comment on the plans. Dwayne and Nicholson both say it's an idea that's going to take some time to become a reality.